Hello and welcome to Woodbury's The Best Town Around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town and we're here today for an incredibly special uh, event which is a 100th anniversary celebration of Michael Reese and company being in business. And I don't think I've ever done one of these, 100 years. I can think of Sansone was 60 and some others were pretty much up there, but nobody's been 100. Uh, this is a company that moved here from Perth Amboy, 1932. So they started business in 1921, that's why 100 years is 2021. And in your 11th year, you moved to Woodbridge. So you've been here for 89 years. That, I, I don't know of anybody who's been here 89 years. But let me read the proclamation anyway. In 1921, Michael Reese and Company was founded on guiding principles of integrity, quality, and dedication, which became the cornerstones of company policy as they conduct work throughout the state of New Jersey, including in Woodbridge, which I'll get into. Working with clients in the educational health care, telecommunications, and commercial section, sectors, and whereas Michael Reese and Company is dedicated to building excellence in the Woodbridge Township community, including building Islam Middle School, as well as installing the addition to Woodbridge Middle School in 1932. Wow. And you're hereby celebrating your 100th anniversary of your founding and commitment to excellence, integrity, and quality for institutions in the public sector. Now, therefore, I, John McCormick, Mayor of the Township of Woodbridge, do hereby consent, uh, extend highest congratulations and honor to Michael Reese and Company, specifically Eric Jensen, President to my right, Christian Jensen, Vice President to my left, and Richard Jensen, Secretary Treasurer to his left, for their services to Woodbridge Township and surrounding communities and offer best wishes for future success. So let me um, turn it over to uh, Eric Jensen to my right and ask you to say a few words. Uh, about your involvement in town, about the company, tell me everything about it. And I also think you did, it's not in here, but I think you did something in our community center, the club at Woodbridge, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, you did, and you did a real good job there, because as I was leaving, I said something, Vito Simaluka, who at the time ran the project to redo the club, yes. and he, he heard Michael Reese, and he says, Michael Reese, they did the club. So let me turn it over to you and say as much as you'd like about the company, and tell me specifically about your involvement in Woodbridge. Thank you, Mayor, very much. Um, we just would like to say thank you to, to Woodbridge and the mayor for uh, uh, recognizing our 100th uh, uh, anniversary. Um, we have you know, been a general contractor for you know, obviously a very long time and we have participated in Woodbridge, uh, Island Middle, Middle School as you said. Um, we did the uh, addition to the club at Woodbridge. Um, we're a union general contractor that works throughout the state of New Jersey. We do work uh, for Rutgers. We do um, done work at Princeton University. We've done quite a bit of work for for Verizon, which used to be New Jersey Bell. Um, we um, so that's really that's really about it. But tell me about your specific involvement with the uh, club. What exactly did you do there? We did uh, the uh, renovating the new play area with the uh, turf area. We did the locker rooms. Um, we did the renovation of the racquetball court areas. Um, um, so. Downstairs dance studios. Okay, so let me tell you, that work alone, you should just be able to bring any future potential client through that building and just say, we did this, and you, you'll get the job. Well, that's very nice of you. Because I'll tell you, the club at Woodbridge is stunning. Um, we really used the opportunity of the pandemic when we probably could never have gotten that kind of work done if there were still you know, hundreds of members every day in and out of the place. Uh, we took advantage of the fact that it was closed and got a heck of a lot done. And we knew early on we were going to buy the club. We were interviewing people, talking to everybody. The first thing that came out of everybody's mind was the locker rooms are awful. The locker rooms are awful. Mm -hmm. They were awful. And you guys came in and just that building is absolutely beautiful now. And we're almost done with our ice rink. If you remember the tennis courts, yeah, we we uh, we competed for the ice rink. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, we we did not get it. We tried hard. We really did. Well, that's uh, I wish you got it, but we have to do. You know, of course, absolutely, of course. But, but you're going to be able to point to that building and say, I don't think you, you can't point to Islam Middle School anymore because probably everything's changed since 1932. <laughs> but you can certainly point to the club at Woodbridge and, and bring anybody in, and they will be very impressed as we are with the job you did there. Well, thank you very much, and, and uh, Vito and, and uh, his whole uh, staff are really great to great to work with. They really yep. were. We also did the addition to the JFK High School yep. uh, back in the late uh, like 2008, 2009. Okay, that was the, with the very first ref. No. Yes, there yeah. was a referendum in, in right yeah. early, I'm mayor in yeah. 2006, 
and there was a referendum right after that that paid for that. That's a beautiful school too. Yeah. The front is completely redone. It looks terrific. Yeah, we, we did that as well. We did okay. that as well. We did the original um, Island, uh, I guess it's a high school or middle school. Island Middle School is right next to the high school. I don't know how that old that was. It just says 1932. It doesn't look that old. But no, it could no. Be. This the one that I'm referring to uh, was done probably in, in 1960. Oh, so the building might not be here anymore. No, Island Junior High School. I think. Yeah, it's but old. doesn't look that old. Yeah, it was in the 60s. It was yeah, the yeah. Uh, precast, uh, yeah, precast. Oh, okay, but you said something here about Island Middle being 1932. That's not that. That no, that was yeah. no, no. that must be a different. That's yeah. what I was getting confused on. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. And here's the best thing about your company is you had the good sense to hire Kim Kasbick. That's right. That's right. And I just want to say how important that is because we've known her for a long, long time. Uh, we've known her husband for a long, long time. He's the chairman of our zoning board. He's a great township volunteer. He's a past fire chief and very involved in the Ford's Fire Company. Uh, her son, which I'll never forget, he took in like a seventh grade career day and they decided I would be the visit to the mayor's office. So the son came in in seventh grade sat in my chair, took a bunch of pictures, interviewed me for the school project or whatever that was, and now he's a cop and has a gun. <laughs> so, so now I, I, <laughs> I view him entirely differently, but he's actually a terrific police officer in town. Well, he, he, so, was, he was in the other day, and he's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the little kid in the chair like that. He was that bigger. He's taller than me. Yeah. So the, you, you did a good thing hiring Kim. So wow. anyway, we, we agree with that 100%, yes. no doubt. So even though you're not 100 years in Woodbridge, even if you're 89 years in Woodbridge, I cannot think of another business in town who I'm looking at I'm looking at two people in their twenties. What am I looking at you guys for? What Wilentz. Wilentz? Wilentz or Vito Mazza? Vito Mazza, Wilentz, good calls. I wonder if Wilentz is hundred years old. It could be. I think we just I do think. Oh ninety? Yeah. Ninety? I think so. Sort of you're probably in the close to you guys. No, we also uh, we also built the uh, Wick Wick Corporate Center right by Wilentz's office, right? Yeah. Oh all right. <laughs> There, yeah, uh, that's Bob Paulus, who yep, now yeah. runs Wick, and he's building some uh, uh, apartments downtown, and he just bought, there's about to buy the bank building on Main Street to turn that into a steakhouse. Yeah, so, very so good. So we know Bob Paulus, he's a terrific guy, too. Yep. I love dealing with him, because he just, he'll, he'll make sacrifices when he knows something's important to us, and when he knows something's important to him, he's not afraid to say, hey, I really need this. He, he's just wonderful to deal with. Yeah. People yep. like that, as I'm sure you guys were on the, on the yep. club, it's just so easy to deal with people who can, you know, understand each other's businesses, understand each other's needs and wants, and tell the difference between the two. Yep. So that's terrific.